Hello, welcome to FOE Advance. This is Bonfrey from L World, and today I wanted to show you uh, my my day one navigation of the archaeology event and how I'm approaching that, and to also just highlight a couple things. Um, I started out with being offered a daily special of something I wasn't interested in. I don't even remember what it was, and so I clicked this switch daily special uh, button and. It right off the bat came up with the Sentinel Outpost, which is the main building that I'm trying to go after in this event because um, I usually go alternating uh, between events. So uh, like in this event, I, I'm going to go for Sentinel Outpost and then the next event, I'll try to focus on um, upgrades for Sentinel Outpost and hoping, you know, that'll be offered. Uh, you know, it's you can never be sure if NO is going to offer this more than once or if you know they're going to also offer the upgrade during this event even though they do things in beta which would lead us to believe something cool is going to happen you know it's early in the game so i've been spending diamonds because i decided to go ahead and do that beforehand and therefore you know here i am on day one just spending diamonds so that i can try to increase my odds at, at getting the uh, the daily special and i also just kind of wanted to show you how i make decisions as i move through um, the, the dig, if you will. So I, I tend to end up with more dynamite than generally everything else. I'm not sure why. I think it's just because of how I go through this. Um, I, this is, I don't know, probably the fifth time I've played this game, uh, played this, this event, I guess I should say, and, and they're modifying it a little bit each time. I don't recall the daily special being movable or like, you know, uh, selectable in the past where you can go once a day and switch it out. It's, I think that's kind of a cool feature. Um, a note about the, um, the calendar. Um, I actually haven't looked too deep into this to see if it's even worth it, but you know, I pick up these shards along the way and I, I definitely have enough, had enough to, to unlock day one here. So I did that and it was, yeah, it was all right. It was, it was like 25 goods. Uh, which, you know, being uh, new into SAV, you know, Space Age Venus, um, it's, uh, you know, it's cool to have extra goods. But anyhow, if we uh, look at also the tablets, uh, if you don't know how this works, definitely a good thing to uh, pay attention to because you get, you'll get extra scrolls by doing these quests. Now, these check marks are showing that I've already uh, fulfilled a single round of these, but I can, you know, click start and do them again, basically to get more, to get more scrolls, you know, which would, which would be nice. So anyway, um, there's, these are, you know, these are done, but this one's in progress kind of thing. So anyhow, that's that. Uh, and then I wanted to show you how I would approach this kind of stuff. The shovel is, can be really useful at unlocking both you know, hidden rows. If you go down kind of the center. Oh, nice. I finally got one. Um, I've spent like, yeah, I don't know, like 8,000 diamonds today on you know, this. And I, I've picked up, I'll have to see what I picked up. Um, I picked up some Sentinel outposts. Um, let's see. It should be showing up in my new, new stuff. Yeah. Five, <laughs> which isn't that great actually. Um, for, for what I've spent diamond wise, I, I, would have liked to have had about 10 by now, but that's just kind of how it goes. Um, I usually try to pick up these gold idols whenever I see them, since I'm trying to get two of these event buildings. So, uh, the only tool that I tend to buy as an individual tool would be more of the brushes because they are only 10 scrolls and that puts it as a relatively cheap item compared to, you know, leaving these behind in past years, I've left behind some of the idols to just kind of keep moving forward. But uh, lately, you know, at this event, I, I think I'm going to try to just pick up every one I, I see because I want to move through, uh, you know, the grand prize stuff as, as uh, thoroughly as I can so that you know, hopefully I'll get, uh, I'll get two by the end of this. I, I got to do a little research to see um, how many times I have to, you know, move through that in order to get a total of two fully upgraded Ferris wheels. But, uh, you know, that's, that's easy enough to figure out. Um, a lot of times I'll, I'll go over to iPenguin Pat's channel on YouTube for, um, for the stats. Cause he's like really good at that stuff. 
and I feel like I don't need to like duplicate his work because he's really good at it. So he'll usually publish like, you know, how many things you have to do and all the technicals. And that's awesome. Uh, my approach is more like, you know, micro strategies and just kind of uh, really straightforward things. And, you know, like this, just showing you what I'm doing to move through it. And it's generally worked pretty good for me in the past. This is definitely one of my favorite events because you have a little more control over, you know, what you want to do and, you know, what you want to go for. Um, and, you know, sometimes it just makes more sense to see, see someone else, you know, showing you the workflow. So that's what's going on right now. And these guys, that's pretty good. This is one thing I wanted to show you that, that basically yeah, I'd have to burn, you know, at least a couple, maybe three paint brushes to get through this. So this is a great place to use the dynamite. Even if, you know, I'm not assured of any prizes. I, you know, I like the dynamite option there because it, it moves forward when you hit it. So if you're new to this event, you know, hopefully this will just kind of give you some insight because, you know, if you're going to use the shovel, you know, or basically uh, any tool that reveals um, an area, like the shovel will reveal a whole strip of, well, it'll be blocked by that. But uh, like in this case here, I'll use the dynamite. You'll see how much this will open up. So it revealed, you know, the, the squares that were next to the other ones that were dark and all that stuff. So it, it's a very useful thing. Um, I think I will trade this. I like trading brushes for shovels because brushes are way cheaper um, if you have to buy them. And, you know, shovels are really useful in certain areas. As I've been playing here and recording, I haven't seen a really good opportunity. Here's, a, here's an okay opportunity for the, for the shovel so that I can not only open this up, uh, but I can see, you know, what's on both of these rows. Ideally, I like to run the shovel between two dark rows, like if this were dark and this were dark, to really maximize the, uh, the effectiveness of the reveal. But, you know, you can't always pull that off, so... All right, so this is looking pretty good. Okay, this is a great opportunity for the shovel because now I'm gonna be able to expose all of that. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah, and there's some stuff there, so that's great. So anyway, I'm gonna keep playing. Uh, stop. I'm gonna stop recording uh, because I just really wanted this to be a, a, a quick, straightforward uh, approach to how I'm playing and I hope it's going well for, for you guys that are committed to this event. It's, it's pretty involved, uh, in terms of time. I, I found at least, especially when you're starting to ramp up because you're doing the quests and you're trying to get as many, I would encourage you to get as many scrolls as fast as you can, uh, going through the, the quests because, you know, you'll never know when, well, like in my case, I got the, you know, I got what I wanted, but on literally hours into the event, I, I started playing at this event at like 4am my time or whatever it was. And, um, you know, that the Sentinel thing happened right away. So that kind of sucked. It kind of pushed me into diamond buying right away, but it, it, or not, you know, I had diamonds, but into scroll purchases because, um, I had committed to that anyway. So anyhow, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, you know, like subscribe, ask questions, comments. Um, uh, some people were commenting on my like garbage looking town and I did a little bit of cleanup on it, but in between events, it's just like, I've been so busy cause I went to, I went to Sav. And at least I got a little bit cleaner. I got, got the same buildings in the same areas. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to redo this at some point, I think. But I at least got it more logically laid out. And, I, you know, I stored some stuff. I got rid of the blimp. Like some people are asking right now if, if the blimp is worth, worth it, um, some of the newer players that I know. And I, it's really up to you. I mean, I probably personally wouldn't go after the blimp um, as, as a daily special. I would... I would definitely encourage going after the uh, uh, going after Sentinels uh, as usual, either the towers or the upgrades. So, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, like, subscribe. I'll keep posting videos like this. And if you want me to even take a look at your town, if you're in L World, if you want me to look at your city and you know talk about it or whatever, you know, just comment, and I'll be glad to do that. Uh, otherwise, uh, for John, and thanks for listening.